ran across this one online and I so had to make it. That's some parchment paper and I laid, laid it down a baking sheet and I got Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna layer the bottom side of the sheet down like so. I'm gonna take my potatoes and I'm going to layer them where they just overlap a little bit. And you're gonna go all the way down. Take the remaining of the Parmesan. So, and that's how it should look somewhat like this. And just like that. A little bit of salt, not a lot. Like so, you could have done that with, uh, before the cheese, after the cheese, however you want to do it. We're going to go 365 on bake for about 30, 40 minutes or so. Just grab a pan, drop it down. I'm going to add, this is optional, a little, just a little drizzle of olive oil just to, uh, to lubricate that bottom of the pan. So I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna grab some spinach. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, I'm not using all of it, but we're gonna layer, layer the pan. Mm -hmm. With some spinach, like so. We're gonna take, you can uh, add more if you want it a little bit more, but I'm gonna use two garlic cloves all ready to go. And we're gonna get them mixed in. So you're gonna you have to keep stirring this. It has shrank, it's turned a dark green. This stuff is ready to go. Eight ounces of ricotta, and I'm going to drop that in. And let's make sure we get all of it out. We're gonna take our spinach. I'm gonna get it in the bowl, like so, and you're just gonna go ahead and mix that, because this is your spread. We're gonna grab some white onion, and we'll get those starting to fry up. Okay. All right, so I got, I got the onion starting to fry. I'm gonna use approximately one pound of ground beef, and you can use as much or as little as you want, but go ahead and get that ground and brown. All right, so I got the meat just about ground and browned, ready to go, and strained out. So now we're gonna go back on. I got salt and pepper. I already got it mixed together in there, so there's salt and pepper. Get that in there. All right, now what we're gonna do is, it's gonna mix in, we're gonna take some diced tomatoes, you can use a can or less if you don't want, or more. I mean, I wouldn't go much more than a can, but up to a can. And get some diced tomatoes in there and get those mixed around. We got the tomatoes all mixed in. We're gonna grab the paprika. And I'm just using a little bit. Just, I mean, I'm using a shot glass because I measured it out. Um, what did we put in there? Um, one teaspoon. One teaspoon, there you go. And then after that, Get that mixed in. We did four tablespoons of the next one. Four tablespoons of parsley. Get it in there. Looks great. I got the meat already ready to rock and roll. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that down or just turn it off, set it to the side like so. These are done now. See, everything's all in timing. Those are the potatoes. That's what it should look like. You can see that the uh, Parmesan is already lightly brown. We're gonna set that down right there. Now you're gonna come on over. We're gonna uh, take it to the spread right there. There's your spread that you made up already. Now we're gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna put and use all of it, but you know, get it on the actual potatoes. Okay, so it should look like this after spreading it all around. Okay, now we're gonna do is we're gonna take your uh, your beef to get it on there. And this is about, about one pound of beef, ground beef. It should look like this. So this is what your results are so far. I did press it down just a hair. Yeah, we patted it down to keep it so it's nice and tight and formed. Mozzarella, you can use as much as you want. I'm uh, You don't have to really use a whole bag. Um, this is an eight ounce bag. But it's really, you don't want to use too much, but it's totally up to you and how much. 
you use, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. Now that that's done, the most important part is going to be, I'm gonna turn the, uh, the bait sheet that way. We're gonna roll this, okay? So I'm gonna start by grabbing the paper just to get it started. As you see, I'm doing it slow so you can see. Get that first roll like that. Then you should be able to back the paper away like so, like that. And then now you're just gonna continue to wrap it. Wrap roll. Ooh. You see that? And then set it uh, uh, vertical, like so. And then you can take some stuff that came out and you can stick it back in there. That way you don't waste anything. Just like that on your wrap. There you go. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this back in the oven for about 15 minutes or so. The only reason it's going in the oven at this point is to melt the cheese. As you can see, the potatoes are done. Okay guys, let's go ahead and cut this open and see what it looks like. Look at this. Oh, I can already see it. This is gonna be amazing. You guys ready for this? Oh, man, it's hot. Look at, that. look at the inside. Oh, look at the cheese. Here, let me turn it so you guys can see in there. Oh, look at this. Look at the melted cheese in there. Just amazing. So yeah, I ran across this one online and I, I was so excited to make it. It just looks so good. Let's try it out. Not bad. Wow. I like how everything just comes together with the spinach and the potatoes and the seasonings. Um, you can taste almost everything in there with the cheese. This is one of those things you can I mean, like, you can make it your own. Yeah, I mean, you can add things, I guess, but nonetheless, I'm gonna make it this way every time. You can make it a taco style. These potatoes are good. Hey, maybe with bacon. I don't know, we'll see you for the next time.